Welcome. Welcome to this Halloween themed episode of whatever I'm doing right now. And yeah, you know, it's um this one's gonna be a rather chilling episode of whatever I'm doing. This one's gonna be um regarding a game you can play that involves summoning a ghost or a demon or whatever you wanna call it. And oh boy, it's gonna be extra spooky, so you better turn the lights out and or, or turn them off if you're scared and be, and be prepared to watch something extraordinarily spooky. Hello guys, welcome to the first Halloween themed episode of whatever I'm doing today. I'm Billy and um, you know, I, I know October kind of started a week ago, but I kind of wanted to skip that first week so I kind of had to, so I kind of jumped into this, uh, into this whole thing like uh, prepared and not just uh, haphazardly. I didn't want to shit out of the video, I wanted to take my time with it. So here we go, here's the first Halloween themed episode. So at the last time, we're going to be focusing on a lot of horror themed topics such as games, Stories and a whole bunch of other basic Halloween shit. So, anyways, let's uh let's get this started. We're gonna be talking about a, a a truly spooky kind of ghost game out there. It's not just any sort of ghost game. It's a it's a ghost game called White Kimono, and oh man, it's gonna be really it is truly going to be an experience. So let's um let's take a look at how to do it. So a big thing in these ghost games is time. You know, you got there are certain times you need to play some of these games, and certain times they won't work, and certain times that will screw the entire process of it up, so let's start with that. So the first step is to make sure you play this game between the hours of 2 a.m. and 3 a.m. And this must be done before you fall asleep, so any of you guys that stay up really late, you know, up until the, up, up until those hours, then yeah, you know, this, this might be a little bit easier for you, but for some of the other ones that have a bedtime and just uh, fall asleep a little bit early, you guys might have, to, might have to muscle through this one. So the next bit, I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a visual aid to help you guys out with this, with this whole game process. Uh, uh. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, oh yeah, it's a, uh, let's get on to the next step. So before you fall asleep, you need to, you know, lie down on your bed like this. Lie down, no, no sleeping, unless you're like really tired. You might, might fall asleep and it might fuck the entire game up. But anyways, you gotta lie down on your, um, on your bed like this and, you know, the first step requires you to count each of the corners of your room, starting with the one on the north side right here. One closest to the north here, so for me it's this one right here. It's that corner right there. And uh, I, I just start, I just start um, counting from there. But I start counting them, I, I just start counting each of them counterclockwise, or anti-clockwise as they say. But anyways, I'm, like, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna ignore that. But anyways, you just start, you just start counting them anti-clockwise, one by one, slowly. If you do it fast, it might screw the entire thing up. I'm not sure how this ritual works or not, but you know, you can't count them fast. So you count them slowly, one, two, three, four, Five. Oh fuck. So yeah, you know, I, I may have run into a bit of a snag right here because my room isn't a. It doesn't have a. It doesn't have four corners. That's five. So that's kind of an awkward situation. But I'm pretty sure you can ignore the little fucker right there. And you have to repeat this at least three times. No, 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 no. Not at least. Exactly three times, or it just won't work. So to doing the whole counting thing, the next step is to cross your arms on your chest like this. As if, it was, as if it wasn't satanic enough. Anyways, you get you gotta cross your you can cross your arms however you want to. Have you cross your arms on your chest like this? You know, like you mean business. Like you're not fucking around with this ghost. It could be like that or the other way. I'm not exactly sure how you gotta cross them, but you gotta cross them somehow. So anyways, you must cross your arms on your chest and chant, Oh Beiru Ma Mashironi Sawaka, I think. I'm not I'm not exactly, I'm not exactly sure what the chant was, but. It's something like that. You must chant that at least three times. Kind of like the Bloody Mary thing, you know. It's like you, you have to chant it three times. And yeah, you know, it's, um, that's kind of how it happens. And I'm pretty sure that means something in Japanese, but I couldn't be fucked over to do research. So after doing all that counting, all the chanting, it requires you to do this next step. And this next step requires you to imagine a lady with long black hair and a white kimono walking towards you slowly. Oh, oh, just to take you guys out of your comfort zone, it's not going to be just a, you know, a lady in a white kimono. She has to be covered in blood, and the hair has to be covering her face. It has to be long, too. It's not just like some fucking bullshit shoulder-length hair. It has to be like fucking waist-down hair. We're not fucking around with this thing. So anyways, it's kind of has to be, um, you have to imagine a woman with long black hair and a white kimono covered in blood walking towards you slowly. And just before she gets close to you, actually, actually, no, no, no. When, when she gets close to you, like as soon as she gets like, you know, at least, uh, you know, elbow space right here, you know, like, right here, she gets right there, you have to unimagine it. And then from there, this is where the fun begins. So once your imagination brings her really close to you, you, 
you can stop imagining her walking towards you and you can uncross your arms because that part of the step is done. But after this, oh, this is where the true fun begins. So once you do all the other steps right, the next step requires you to uncross your arms as I've done right now. And you must turn off every light in the room, making it as dark as possible so the game can truly begin. And from here you can also fall asleep too, so yeah. So yeah, you gotta turn every light off and stop the game. Well, that didn't work out really well. So if you do all the previous steps right, you will see a woman in a white, blood-stained kimono in your dreams. Now that, that's spooky. You know how I kind of said this is where it gets really fun? Well, that was actually kind of code word for saying that this is where a lot of people online say it gets pretty dangerous. So once you're in your dream, and you see the woman in the blood-stained kimono, in your dream, she'll approach you. But you must not speak to her. So if you're chatty in your dreams, you're kind of fucked. She'll ask for your name, but you must never answer her. If the woman starts to mutter something in your right ear, that is when you need to wake up by shaking your right hand. Not sure how you'll be able to do that in your sleep, but I'm pretty sure it's possible. And just like every game that involves the supernatural, it's not over yet. Once you wake up from this uh, dream, I guess, you know, it could be, a, I'm pretty sure I consider it more of a nightmare than a dream. Once you wake up, you must check every corner of your room to make sure there is not a shadow of a woman. If you do not see the shadow of a woman anywhere in the room, you're safe. However, if you see, if you do happen to find a shadow of a woman there, well, that's for, um, that's for you to find out. So that is how you mess around with supernatural shit for fun. I'm not exactly sure if it works or not. You know, some people online say it does, and they say it's really dangerous, and you shouldn't, and you shouldn't try it whatsoever. But I'm, I'm not exactly sure because I'm not trying. I'm not gonna try it myself because I'm just, I, I, I couldn't be fucked to do it myself. But hey, you can give it a try. There'll be a detailed list of instructions down in the description down there. I'll, I'll put a link into the, to the page where I found it on, and you could uh, give it a try yourself. So yeah, you know, you can find out what happens if you find a shadow in your room. So that'll about wrap up my first Halloween themed video. I hope you guys enjoyed it because there's a, there's more of it on the way. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, give it a like down there if you guys want to see more of what I have to do, including my other videos such as Unorthodox Reviews and The Cringe Capsule, hit the subscribe button down there. And yeah, if you guys want to call me names, go down there in the comment section and feel free to do so. But anyways, as for me, I'll see you guys next time.